gamers, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Genesia. We need to get a freaking dub ski this time, that's all I'm trying to say, alright? Let's plot a course, let's get right into this. Should have some new unlocks and whatnot we can actually go around and check out, but I do want to say also, I just checked, um, I saw some news on the Steam store page, and it said between November 8th and 12th, I think they're going to have the next update. So soon we'll have some new updates with a lot of new content and whatnot, but we need to make some progress so we can actually, you know, get into all that content. There's a lot of fights on the left. Honestly, what if we just do a bunch of fights? You know what I mean? Like, just fight as much as, like, regular fights as we can. And just get a bunch of gold. Yeah, and then just hit up this shop at the end and just go buku bucks. You know? I don't know. I think it could work. Oh, man. All right. Let's do it. Get in there, Raj. Cleaver, Shuriken, Spear. I think Shurikens are pretty cracked. Weak but large attack. I know the Cleaver can be pretty good too. I just think Shurikens are cracked, and then we'll see what we want to get after that. Oh, okay. That's the one I was aiming at. <laughs> Hello, enemies. You want to come at me? Uh, Alright, they'll, they'll be on their way. There's one. So I'm actually going on a little trip to Seattle for my cousin's wedding, which uh, my other cousin, Craig, if you're watching. Hello. Thank you for coming back again. Uh, <laughs> very excited for that, but I got so much work done over the past few days for my main channel, getting, make sure I could have a video out every single day. I was like, you know what, I'd like to get at least one or two runs of Rogue and on the second channel if I could while I'm gone as well, because why not? I'm really enjoying this game and I just kind of wanted to play it, honestly, and I'm like, if I'm going to play it, I'm just going to record. I did do, hmm, let's, let's, let's get the critical chance. I did do a run of this on my main channel, actually, like I was just saying. Um, so my third run of this, you can see the first run on this channel. The third run was on that channel, just so I could kind of show people the game. And, you know, if they want to come check out the channel, then they could. So if you want to go check that out, you can. But yeah, that would be the third run. But if you're okay with missing the third run, then you can just start here. <laughs> if I can remember to, I'll put that in the top right or description or whatnot. We'll see. It's all about if I can remember to, so you know. Probably not. That looks really good. Huge crit chance. And Thunderstaff was kind of lackluster last time, so I think I might actually skip it. Let's just go, like, really big crit if we can. And we'll start with a bunch of shurikens. And then let's try to find another weapon that does really good with crit. I think is the uh, idea that I'm looking for here. Crit, maybe attack speed, too. Get some movement speed in there, probably, for some actual sustainability. Some survivability, I should say. And I think that'd be a pretty good idea. Keep getting this gold up. Almost there, 78, jeez. Taking a while. See, we're going to do a lot of fights. Stone-handed, extra projectiles. We lose a lot of attack speed and lifetime. I'm not going to go that. I don't want that. I want the projectiles. I mean, I want the attack speed. And I haven't really tried Windblade. Let's just do that. Okay, that'll be more of a direct attack. Of course, it only goes to these sides of us. But then we have these shurikens to go everywhere else. So we can just get a boss next to us. We can sit here like this and just go crazy on him. And we can get the crits up on these things too, just like we're doing with these shurikens here. Gold card. Let's see. Damage multiplier. Attack speed. Um, We'll go damage multiplier. Well, I do want to go attack speed, but I don't know how good those like 999 ones. Oops. I didn't want to pick that up yet because that was a, a magnet upgrade, but that's the way she goes sometimes. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to kind of take a break up and... You know, there's, there's a little period of time where I, I've been making content for, like, around a year now, actually. Um, and my main channel's grown pretty rapidly in that time. You know, I've gained thousands of subscribers, which, you know, people have grown faster than that. But I'm still very proud of the growth I've made, of the community I've formed. There's so many people I've met that I talk to on a daily basis now, you know, that I met through doing this. People that I've been, you know, uh, seeing there on starting channels, and they literally come in and give me a comment, and they're like, yo, dude, it's inspiration to see, like, how fast you're growing, and I've been doing my own content, and just love watching you, so it's, like, inspiring to see you growing, and I'm like, it's, it's weird to think that other people see that from you, when it's like, I've been seeing that from other people, uh, to myself, my whole life. You know, it's, it's weird to be on the other side of the shoe there, you know? 
the other side of the is that, what's, what's the phrasing it's not the shoes on the other foot but you know what i mean the other side of the coin i suppose i can say cleaver i don't think i want cleaver max health projectile size base damage knockback we lose move speed and we lose projectile speed honestly though huh let's do it i want to see how big these shurikens are um okay not super big but the uh the wind blades are getting a good bit bigger there so they should have some pretty good knockback too i don't think i can really test it on these guys because they're gonna get one-shotted but did i take a bunch of damage oh no i just got a bunch of extra health so now i need to go get a chicken and heal up or something Jimkin, thank you. Wow, I got a lot of extra health. Okay, so some HP region I think would be a good thing to pick up if we can. I'm just kind of mauling all these enemies, and I'm not picking up that magnet upgrade yet. What I'm going to do is pick up the magnet upgrade once we've killed all this. And then get it where we leave, just like that. Damage multiplier, I do want to get that, but there's even a bigger damage multiplier right here, so we might as well get that. Get the dash! Yes, got the gold. Um, let's see. I think it's, you shouldn't pack up, pass up that experience multiplier this early on in the run because, you know, we're going to get so much XP out of it that we'll be able to finish shurikens faster, hopefully, just from the additive amount of XP that we'll get versus the XP that you would miss if you didn't have the multiplier to your XP gain. But then again, I'm not very good at math, so maybe I'm doing that wrong, but I think I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's still just pump up the base damage. I think base damage is a big part of making your crits even better because if your base damage is dog cheeks, then um, having crits isn't really going to matter that much. And we'll keep getting to the shkluties here. Doing pretty good. But yeah, it, it's interesting to see people, you know, saying that and it's like people who actually watch your content every day. Uh, and it's, it's interesting. I think... Uh, there's definitely been stuff to adjust to as audience grows, and one of the biggest things is just trying not to care about numbers, which is hard to do. It's hard to just, like, stop caring about numbers, because you know that's that's what it is. It's, okay, how many subs do I have? How many views did I get on this? How many likes am I getting? Are people commenting? What is this? What is that? You know, like, I'm about to hit 300 members in my Discord server even and it's like that's great and i have a uh, one of my subs who's in there and cool kid but he's like i'm watching it for you man as soon as we get that 300 people it's gonna be awesome projectile size i'm gonna go move speed and damage mitigation i think i need some move, move speed because we did lose some when we took this uh legendary perk or whatever it was so yeah damage multiplier this please um, and it's like, yeah, that's great. I just kind of try to do my best to not get hung up on numbers. I'm just going to go for the shuriken here. I do want to max that out as quickly as possible. Because if you get hung up on that stuff, it's how you really just, like, drag yourself down. Because some months you're going to have amazing growth, and then it might fall off the next month because, hey, maybe that growth was great because there was a lot of content coming out, right? You got lucky sometimes, you know? Or even if you didn't get lucky and you did it out of your own, you know... Uh, intelligence, you know, you knew what you were doing and you made the right videos and the right calls for that. It's still a matter of, oh, wow, Windblade stacks hard, huh? There, there's always some luck associated with it, but you know what I mean? It, no two months are going to be the same. You're going to have ups and downs and good months and bad months. And it was just interesting looking. I keep a little, I keep a lot of notes <laughs> in like the notepad app on my phone, you know? That's one of the big things I do. I love keeping track of things. You know, I have a long, long list of like video ideas and all this stuff. And it's just a whole scribble notepad. It's like, you know, you have a good video idea, you write it down. Good piercing on that. That's cool. And uh, I keep track of my growth month after month. And just looking from last October to then this October or last November to this November, where it was just such an insane growth from then to now. And it's just like, wow. It's hard to see the growth when it's just month by month or day by day. And it's like, well, not much happened today. Not much happened this week. But then you look at it 
in the bigger picture. Wow, let's look back at this last year of my life. And you're like, oh, wow, I've actually accomplished quite a bit, you know? So it's good to kind of look at bigger picture sometimes to really keep yourself in a better mind space. And that is how you have to look at it. It has to be a bigger picture. Because if you just get wrapped up in the minutia all the time, it's just not good for you. But, uh, yeah, I'm having a good time. And although basically nobody watches the second channel right now, it'll grow just like the main channel did, but i just been having fun on this channel because I can actually just talk about whatever. Get level 5 there on the shurikens, and I just enjoy talking about whatever, and I can just kind of mindlessly play these games, but I also just love games like this, these bullet hell, bullet heaven, little light type games. And I've just been having fun on them, especially this game. I'm really excited to keep seeing this game grow, and just indie games, honestly in general, because they're such a great genre. There's so many great indie games out there that just, you know, don't necessarily... It's not like they're not getting covered by bigger creators than me. Obviously, they are. But um, it's nice to be able to cover them as well yourself if you want to. Because, yeah, the AAA games can be good, but I like to bolster these as well. Pickup range would be nice. Attack speed, base damage. I might start pumping this attack speed. If it's just like our choice, then I'm just gonna go it. I mean, that's pretty good attack speed. Oh, he's getting kind of shredded. Okay, so he gets really shredded when the shurikens can actually hit him. Not as much when it's just the wind blade, but still pretty good from the wind blade there. Projectile size and knockback. Yeah, I mean, here's my thinking. If we can make the wind blades really quick, uh, really big, excuse me, then they'll kind of hit above us and maybe below us a little bit too. So it won't necessarily be just a side to side thing when we make them really big. You know what I mean? And then I, I guess the shurikens can technically get bigger, which I don't really think matters as much, but <laughs> you know, see when the shurikens actually hit him, he gets shredded. Got a lot of XP back here. I'm trying to get it. There's also a freaking tree in my way and I can't see, so. Get this guy on the side of me and just kind of take him on a trip through the back alley. That's a big damage up. Up to 10 piercing there. Oh yeah, that's shredding. Hello, hello XP. You come with me. All right. Yeah, doing pretty good, level 22 already. When we get to that final shop, we should be like loaded in money, is the idea at least. We'll level up here again before we get off this level. We're almost done with the kill cap here. Um, I do want to keep going attack speed, but I'm just going to keep do move speed because it's only four levels on it. So, we'll get that as much as we can. Alright. Gold card. Critical damage. Yes, please. Keep going there. And here's our first chest I think we've hit. Ooh. I would love to go Windblade more, but I think we have to go Recursion. And increase monster amount by 20%, but reduce their health by 20%. I'll pick it up. Could be risky, but I think it's good overall. Oh, let's... That's a pretty big damage multiplier up. Okay, move speed projectile. We lose projectile size. Or slow. Um... I'm gonna go quick. Oh, those are zooming now. I think that was the right choice. I think the slow could be good, but I think the slow is really good if you have like the aura weapon and other weapons aren't as good. But if it pops up again, I will pick it up. Yeah, I just think like this projectile speed and whatnot it was a good choice. We're gonna turn around after we kill this guy and go back for some XP here. That's a big XP uh, or uh, attack speed up. Let's go that. Let's go that. Can we try through these enemies? Yeah, pretty good. Ooh. Banish all critical related cards. I can't do that. No. No. We're too hard into crits. Crits is something that I'm really looking into, so I'm not just gonna dip on that. <laughs> We've gotta be careful, because we don't have the best dash build right now. Yeah, that's gonna hurt a little bit. That's okay. Ooh, thank you so much. 
Ooh, I do want more dash charges. Get some crits there. But I'm not going to go it yet. But yeah, I, I definitely need to pick up more dash charges. Hold on. I want to get this chicken for this level ends. If there's any to get. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's go, poggers. Card, Windblade to level 5. Again, I think this is just the right choice because you get more levels. And we still have enough time that this is worth it. We going? Oh, that was Miss Mark. Yeah, let's just hit it with the actual skulls. I think it's the right choice. Oh my god, get grinded. Try to leave some of this chicken on the ground. In case we get swarmed too much. The edge multiplier if we lose attack speed. Nope, give me the attack speed. Just pump everything out there. All right. I did have my cousin bring up an interesting point. If you remember, I was talking about the Santa Claus the other day. And I was wondering, you know, it's a common trope in Santa movies that Santa's losing his magic because people aren't believing. And I was like, why doesn't he just go on like GMA and be like, yo, I exist. And people will be like, oh yeah, Santa exists. And then he'd have all the magic he wants. But he made the good point that belief has to come from a point of not knowing because if you know then you're not really like just believing anymore and i was like that makes sense it has to be unproven belief you know it's just like yeah i believe he exists but you don't really have the hard proof so it makes sense why the santa magic will work like that finisher can out here is a beauty let's do that i think some defense items might be good like some damage mitigation or whatnot would be a good idea um so that checks out so when i go to watch the santa claus four or whatever the heck this one's gonna be i'll be uh less skeptical i'll go you know what all right it checks out you're doing good things for the world tim allen maybe i don't i don't i don't know if he's a good guy or not i think most celebrities are actually kind of trash humans imagine that <laughs> critical damage or critical chance each one of them gets finished right now so i'm just gonna go chance and then we'll do damage after Give me the ability to proc it a bunch, and then after that, we'll go for the damage from said procs. Hello. Oh, okay. Oh god, let me dash again. Okay, not too bad. Windblade level 5. Additional projectiles, we lose base damage. Give me this one windblade, yeah. Doing pretty good, we're getting towards the end. I'm getting a little worried, maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's just peg this guy. Eh, not in that way. Somebody in my server earlier was like, Roger, I have a question about something you said in your video, and apparently I, like, <laughs> was, you know, smacking people in the FPS that I play, and I was like, oh, man, I'm pegging these kids. And I was like, hey, look, figure speech. No illicit activities are occurring here. Okay, that's pretty darn good damage. What is this? Oh, magic wand. Huh. I think that could be a good idea. Yeah, let's get one more weapon I think would be good, because this can face any direction the same way that the shurikens can. And I get a little worried that we're getting surrounded sometimes, and I think if we could use a little more help with getting surrounded from the magic wand here would be great. And it looks like it's actually doing pretty crazy damage. And just keep walking it side to side. Getting all these boys shredded. Well, hopefully you guys are having a good day. I had a pretty darn good day. I had the most slapper burger for dinner. You ever had a Five Guys burger? Best burgers on the planet. And fries. Cook it in that peanut oil. Oh, dude. I want Cloud9 when I have that. Okay, hold on. Let's get another dash charge, please. I think I'll need it as we go farther here. Ouch. Give me the chimkin. Thank you. We're getting there. We gotta survive a little while longer. I kind of wish the uh, objective was more towards the middle of the screen just so I could look at it easier. Because you have to look up and that can get you easily killed. I'm gonna stay around here for when we finish this. So we can get all this XP. Go two dashes though so we can't just kind of chonk through them sometimes. Is there like lifesteal in this? Ooh, can we get the boss? I don't think we can. No. 
Slippery skin, damage mitigation, or damage multiplier. Give me the damage mitigation. I said I needed some, and I still think we do. And there we go. I got some kind of achievement there. I didn't get to read it. Magic wand. Let me finish off critical damage first, and then we'll keep going magic wand as much as we can. If I can max magic wand before we get to the end, that would be absolutely beautiful. The more points I get in a magic wand here, I think, is going to be quite a deciding factor how this shakes out. Because holy heck, that's a lot of enemies. I mean, there is 20% extra enemies because of that relic we took, but it's also just a lot of enemies. The damage mitigation is going to come in handy, I'll tell you that much. See if we can chop through these guys a little bit. Oh yeah, we lost my XP back here. Let me get that. Thank you, thank you. Give me the gold. Plus I'm up here too. Oh, I was going to say, a magnet upgrade would really hit the spot right now. And they said, ask and you shall receive. Let's go. Mm, we should level up off this boss. Eh, almost. We will now. Attack speed would be awesome. Defense would be great. Move speed and damage mitigation would be awesome too. It's a pretty big attack speed bonus. I think we gotta go that. I would like to have more projectiles, but I think just the attack speed was the way I wanted to go. I wanted to just go attack speed, crit. Like, that was my aim for this, and I think we did pretty good at sticking those as our core tenants here. Alright, we're shutting pretty good. Windblade seems pretty pogged. I'm excited to see what other weapons they add and stuff, because they seem to have a really good design philosophy. Like, every single weapon I've seen seems like it could be great in its own right, you know? It just needs the proper build behind it to really shine, and I appreciate when a game can make that happen. I think two dashes is enough for me, honestly. And some defense would be awesome. I'm just scared of getting swarmed and then taking a bunch of damage that I can't stand, you know? Like, if I can't withstand it, then I'm just screwed. I'm trying to kill this big mushroom, but I'm also trying to keep the riffraff off me. Stick him really quick. Oh, man. Okay. Get this XP. Getting pretty close to a level. Yeah, I love the sound design. I love the visuals on this game, for sure. I think it looks better than almost any other one of these games in this genre. Which is quite the compliment. I enjoy a good looking game. Okay, let's see. Damage multiplier, move speed. This is less move speed overall than this, obviously, but it's also damage mitigation, so I'm going to take that. I think some extra just damage in general would be cool. I think we're starting to lack in that a little bit, so maybe we should focus on some offense. Especially if we can get more levels of magic wand would be awesome. I guess this is kind of what happens when you don't hit any shops or only one chest in a run. You start to feel a little a little light with it. But we are leveling a lot, you know, that's good. I would love to hit one more chest or something though. Hello, hello. Kind of running down here. I don't know if I should be. I'd love to stick this boss before we finish out here. Not going to happen. Damn, God, I couldn't get to that big stack, but we still got a lot. Low pressure projectile size base damage. Reroll. Iron skin or slippery skin? That's just straight up defense. This is damage mitigation. Give me the damage mitigation. And take me here. Oh, God. Well, we have almost 10k gold. That's nice. Still a little scared overall, but... Oh, God. I am just using the biggest dodges I have right now. I need to get back in here and grab that XP if I can. Yeah, can I just... Yeah, give me a little more of that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's okay. I'll come back. No, yeah, you, like, take your time. It's okay. There we go. Base damage. Yeah, I think that's the right choice, like I said. We just need to get our damage up a little more here. I would love more levels of the Magic Wand, but they're not really giving that to us right now, so... It is what it is. We'll just grab what we can. And go from there. Ooh, thank you. Not even a level, though. All right, let's try to run upwards a little bit. Chimkin, thank you. Immediate get hit. Immediately get hit, I meant to say. I'm trying to be careful with this skeleton here. 
Thank you for the schlutes. There's a chicken off to my right as well, but... I'm kind of just trying to take a trip around here. Pick up some XP. There we go. Base damage. Defense. Pick up range. Shoot. Um... Literally, I think pickup range is great right now. This exact moment, we need that quite a bit. Because <laughs> we can get some extra XP right now. Okay. Weak point, critical damage. That's huge. Yes, please. Well, I don't know about this. We're going to try, but this is not honestly that great of a... Ugh. I... I don't think I want that. It's, it's like a little late, you know? Aiming. Damage multiplier but lose attack speed. I'll do that. Um, light armor. Could be good. Let's do card selection. Yes, please. Okay, a little late for that anyways. Definitely not. We said no to that earlier. And we'll just do card selections. Yeah, I think I'll take a magic wand. And I guess I'll heal for one, because that's literally all I can do. Well, I guess we're taking some gold to the bank. That'd be funny if you could bank gold for the next run. You can't, but what if you could? <laughs> well, at least we have big piercing with our wind blades here to shred these guys. All right, let's take this slow, keep it methodical. We don't need to rush in on the boss this time. We're not as strong, I don't think, as the last time. Just pick up the XP. Maybe we can get a level here. One more level of, like, Magic Wand would be awesome. And where's the boss at? There he is. Alright, I'm gonna kind of try to let my Jurikins and stuff hit him. I want to get parallel with him, but here's the attack. We're good, we're good. Okay. Okay. Now we can get some damage on him. Yeah, but be careful. Be careful. Okay. Ice Spear, I said earlier I would go. So I'm just going to go it. I think if any time to come in handy, it could be now. There's some extra attacks. Careful, those are going to split a little bit. Hit him with some shots if we can. Kill the Riff Raff. Take it slow and steady. He's shooting out the lasers. There is a chest up here. Maybe we can grab a little chimkin from this. We can. Here comes his attack. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm going to dash once. <clears throat> All right. Getting kind of swarmed here. That worries me. I'm going to make a break for the right side here. I'd love to hit him a little bit. And we are. Itching my nose. Vital intel. Gotta tell you guys that. I'm gonna use a dash to get down here. Because I think we need to position towards him a little bit. Alright. Getting some shots on him. Gotta be careful of that. Use one dash there to get down. He is launching his big attack at us. I think we're fine. I'm gonna dash up here once. Hitting him pretty good. Let's not get greedy. I'm going to dash to the side once. Look for some chimkin in this box. We got it. I'm going to dash upwards because I see a lot of bolts coming out at us. From this son of a gun. Alright, he's summoning. He is pretty close on our tail here. We're trying just to get up to the right of him now. We see some bolts coming out at us. we got to be careful about that. Looking for the red line as soon as I see that. He's summoning. Okay. I'm going to dash through these guys really quick. And there we go. All right. You stinky boy. Do you not know who you're messing with? It's me actually playing the game instead of standing right next to you and, you know, just, just dying for no reason. <laughs> so Magic Wand didn't do much. Of course, it came in very late. Windblade, pretty cracked. I do like that. And Shurikens are just really good. 10,000 kills. Let's hit the Soul Shop really quick here. 300 souls, now we're talking. Yes, please. Oh, we can go to the next tier, even. What does the next tier have? Elite stages can... 
Elite stage can no longer be a question mark. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Base damage multiplier. We could just crank that. I'm kind of thinking we finish everything in this tier first, just because it's all way cheaper. You know what I mean? Pick up distance. And we're out of uh, soul gems for now, but you finish this, and then it'll make it easier to just finish runs every time. And then once you finish this completely, I think you go ahead and come over here. Having more max health is going to be nice, though. And this is going to be a nice boon for us. All right. And did we unlock... We unlocked E-Rank Worlds, so maybe we'll uh, go ahead and try that next time. I know D-Rank Worlds are coming in the next patch, as well as Survivor's Mode, which I have not tried yet. So maybe we should try Survivor's Mode. But either way, that is going to be it for today. So thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to leave me a like, comment, subscribe, or hit the notification bell so you can see more in the future, I'd really appreciate all that. But that is it for me today. So as always, have a great day. Episode.